it's that time again for an FX crate unboxing. I actually forgot that this was going to be coming in the mail. And then I was really happy when it arrived in the mail. So I don't know what exactly the theme is for this one. I didn't even look at the website. So we're just going to open it and see what's up. Because last time I did one of these unboxing videos, you guys seemed pretty interested in it. So yeah, let's do this. I just got home from taking relatives to shopping. So, boom! What is inside? Dear artist, thank you for ordering our evil elf. All right, well, we're not going to read that. So, ooh. So in this box, it has a little card that has tutorial steps in it, which is pretty cool. There's a front and a back, and that's pretty cool. An evil elf, that's awesome. Now see, this would get me excited for the holidays. Packing material, which I will need for last minute presents. Thank you, FX Great. So, wow. There's more in here than the last one. So, we got the Prosade Cream Adhesive. Can't see, because I'm actually under light this time. We got the Prosade Remover. Always remember when messing with special effects that you use the appropriate removers and adhesives and all that stuff. Don't hurt yourself. We have prosthetic ears, which is awesome. You know how cool it would be? I haven't done the chompy look yet from the vampire box that we got, but could you imagine the elf ears with that weird vamp brow going on. I bet we can make one ugly ass elf if I should morph the two somehow. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> we got a latex nose, which would look pretty silly on my nose because my nose is pretty, like, I've got like a, I'm one of those Poor unfortunate souls has a bump in the nose, but I don't know if you can see. And then we have our green water based airbrush paint, which to me it looks kind of like a blackish green on there, but still green. So, honestly, I'm actually impressed again with this box because one, I forgot it was coming. Two, it gives me inspiration to do even weird shit, but I have to get around to it. Like, I want to make these looks with the stuff that I get in these boxes. I am just waiting for my little studio area to be set up appropriately so I can film appropriately and not have to worry about interruptions and all that good stuff. And I would love to get to the point where I would like go live and do weird shit. Because that'd be awesome. But I love this stuff. I love getting this stuff in the mail. And I love learning from different tutorials because like Everybody on YouTube that I follow, whereas like the safety precautions are usually the same and you know, the removers and adhesives and stuff like that, but the painting techniques are always different. You can always learn from somebody and it doesn't matter how professional that you get in something, you are always learning. So always remember that. Be humble with whatever you do. Always learn because professionals can be learning from rookies and rookies can be learning from professionals, you know. But I think this would be cool. So. It's up to you guys to decide. Should I mix the elf with the chompy look? Or should I do two separate looks for you guys? You guys can let me know in the comments down below. 
do you like these unboxing videos? I like doing them. And, you know, I'm giving you my true reactions here. I'm not going to be all like, everything's awesome, because, you know what, there might be a box where I'm going to be all like, boo, this one was a dud. But I have more subscription boxes that I will be getting. I will be doing some unboxing videos, too. So, yeah. You guys let me know. We're going to put this back. We're going to read the little thank you letter. So, Elf is a character which can be interpreted in many different ways, with many different products. If your elf's cheeks are more rosy than green, a cosmetic look may be, may be a better fit. A dab of food color in the mouth can make for eye-catching mouth effects. Food coloring is your friend. So. Oh. I really need to look into getting the premium version of crates because in the crates you get like a 10 pack body art and a Krylon foundation brush. I need to get more crates. I'm thinking of getting a lot of crates on my website. So yeah. Well. I'd say that's not bad. I mean, let's see, $8.50 for the cream and remover, $15 for the elf ears, $9.99 for the nose, and $14.50 for the green paint. And I'm getting this all in the box. So that's not it. Well, you guys let me know. Should I do a vampy elf thing? Should I do them separately? Should I just wait until we get more and see what weirdo creature we could make? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to be a member of the spooky family. And I promise I'll get my studio area set up soon. See you guys later. Bye.